Morning. I ask you if you would to turn to John chapter 6. John chapter 6. In the beautiful day that God's gave. As always, we hope you've already prayed. But if you find your place, John chapter 6. And we want to start reading in verse 35. John chapter 6, starting in verse 35. The scripture says, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that ye also have seen me, and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. I would ask if you would bow your heads. Father, again, we thank you, Lord, for another beautiful day. We thank you, Lord, for your precious word. And Father, once again, uh, just overcome my inability. Father, Lord, we pray that you'd uh, send the message out the way it needs to go out. Lord, convict where it needs to convict and encourage where it needs to encourage. And Father, again, just give us the words that need said. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we ask all these things in Christ's name. And amen. 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 Bless you. Him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Folks, the all-inclusiveness yes, yes. of Jesus Christ. Amen. And, uh, Bill, there may be some people that's going to come across this message, and it's not going to be what they think. <laughs> but, folks, the all-inclusiveness of Jesus Christ. Folks, listen, if you're like me, you've been bombarded this past month with how we are to be inclusive, yeah. how we are to be tolerant, yeah. how we are to, to be accepting. Yeah. And folks, there is one who is all-inclusive, Harley. Yeah, that's right. He accepted murderers. That's right. He accepted thieves. Yes. He accepted adulterers. Yes. He accepted fornicators. Yes. that's right. He even accepted them good moral people, Mary, <laughs> that they hadn't did all this raping and pillaging and other stuff. Yeah. But folks, the all-inclusiveness of Christ. Mm -hmm. Folks, he is the only person that is willing to take whoever. Yes, amen. Now, a lot of these people that have been preaching uh, Pride Month, okay, and... and well, Doug, you don't believe in Pride Month? I believe in Pride Year, Harley. Well, I'm proud to be a Christian Amen. 365 days Amen. a year. That's right. Uh, folks, you ought to take pride in that. Yes, thank you. You ought to take pride in your Savior. Yes, yes. But, folks, there are things going on that you should take no pride in. That's right. Amen. Amen. Now, amen around. That's right. Okay. But, folks, all inclusive, okay? So, let's start off with by realizing that, guess what? All of you are failures. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, no clapping. <laughs> all of you are failures. Right. All of us are failures. All yeah. have come short Amen. of the glory of God. Amen. Yes. Uh, not Doug's words, Romans yeah, 3.23. Right. For all have sinned yes. and come short of the glory of God. Amen. Folks, listen, we are all failures. Yes. We are all failures. Uh, 1 John uh, chapter 1, around verse 8, 
He says, if we say that we have no sin, right. we deceive ourselves, right. and the truth is not in us. Amen. Folks, listen, if you say, I'm not a failure, you're fooling yourself. You're That's fooling right. yourself. That's right. He goes on then and says, though, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our Amen. sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Oh. Joe, that's why he can take the publicans, he yes. can take the sinners, right. he can take those that had cursed his very name yeah. and forgive. Yes. But folks, listen, we are all yes. failures. Amen. Okay? We are all failures. And you've got to realize that. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 64, mm -hmm. around verse 6, says, We are all as an unclean thing. Yeah. yeah. All our righteousness is as filthy rags. Yeah. We have all faded as a leaf, yeah. and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. Yeah. Folks, uh, those that look and say, well, I'm a good man, I'm a good woman, you're a sinner. Yes, amen, amen. That's right. And until you do something about that, right. you are going to stay in that state. That's right. Because all have sinned and come short of the glory amen. of God. That's right. Now, uh, Hillary Clinton, and again, we don't bring up politics, but she called millions of people, Bill, deplorables. I called you all failures. Hardly nobody did anything to Hillary Clinton. But if the preacher says that we're a failure, then guess what? You all climb up the pucker tree. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Folks, listen, Doug ain't the only one that's calling you failures. Anybody that's ever preached that's right. the gospel, yes. the way it's written, Bill, that's right. if they're going to be honest, then guess what? We're all failures. Yes. Amen. Because we've all sinned. Yes. Okay? But to be all-inclusive, okay, so here we go. We're all in the same boat. Yes. Yes. We've all started out as failures. Yes. But here's the thing. He says, he that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Folks, everyone has to come yes. to Christ. Amen. Amen. Everyone has to come to Christ. Well, I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing what I think is right. Uh, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's, that's exactly right. Boy, you all ought to give me a big birthday gift. You know, there ain't very many people that will tell you you're wrong. Yeah. But folks, listen, all have to come to Christ. Amen. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, yeah. around verse 5, he says, Who will have all men to be saved yeah. and yeah. come unto the knowledge of the truth. Yes. See, a lot of people fool themselves. Yes. That's why he wants you to come to the truth. For there is one God yes. and one mediator between God and men, yeah. the man Christ Jesus. Amen. Folks, listen, if you could save yourself, then there was no reason for him to come. Mark. That's right. Amen. If we could on our, our own yes. uh, be righteous, then yes. guess what? He died on an old rugged cross for nothing. That's right. But folks, all have to come yes. by Christ. Yes. Okay? Titus 3, 5. Not by works of righteousness yes. which we have done. Yes. Oh, Doug, I did this. I did that. I did all these good things. Yes. Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy hath he saved us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Folks, listen, you can't do enough good no. to make up for sin. That's right. Amen. You can't. Yes. You can't do enough good to, to enter into heaven. Right. Folks, you have to come through Christ. Yes. You have to come through Christ. And that's what he himself says. John 14, 6. I am the way, yes. the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but right. by me. Amen. Amen. You can't come by Mohammed. That's right. You can't come by the Pope. Yes, that's right. You can't come by the preacher. Right. You can't come on mommy and daddy's salvation. Nope. You can't come on grandma and grandpa's salvation. Nope. That's right. Folks, you have to come by Christ. Amen. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Folks, here's the all-inclusiveness of Christ, Harley. It says, listen, the only way you're getting in is by me. Right. And the only way that you're getting in is if you're born again. Right. That's what he told Nicodemus in chapter 3 of John. Yes, that's right. Except a man be born again, yeah. he cannot see the kingdom of God. Yeah. Well, I went to church so many years. Well, 
Golf clap. <laughs> Folks, you know how many people have went to church, Joe? Hundreds and hundreds of times. Yes. And they're going to be in the middle of a lake of fire and brimstone. Amen. That's right. Amen. You're right. Because it's not about going to church, Sandy. It's about coming to Christ. Amen. Amen. And that's what he says. He that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Yes. Folks, everyone has to come to Christ. Everyone has to come to Christ. And here's the good thing. Guess what? No one's turned away. Right. No one's turned sure. away. Yes. Folks, uh, a lot of these people that have been advocating pride in month, <laughs> Bill, I have no doubt that they probably turned Doug away after we started talking. Yeah, that's right. I have no yeah. doubt that they would turn a lot of people away, Harley, after yeah. they started talking. Now, wait a minute. Uh, we want you to be accepting of what we say is okay. Yeah. We want you to be accepting of our lifestyle. Well, all right. right. Let's. <laughs> what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? right? right. So, okay, then let me talk about the all-inclusiveness of Christ. Yeah. That's right. Because, truth be told, there are a lot of places that they're not going to accept you. Folks, even, even good moral people. Harley, there's Democrats that will never accept Republicans. There's Republicans that will never accept Democrats. There are people that will never accept Baptists. There are Baptists that will never accept other people. Folks, listen. Again, you're all blessed, because guess what? <laughs> Bill, we started out as a Baptist. Bless him, Lord. And we haven't changed. Right, right. Okay? Right. Well, what do you mean, Doug? I mean, starting in August of 1979, we were saved by the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And hardly when we went to a Baptist church. Guess what? For the last 30 years, we went to Pinch Ridge Memorial Church. But, yeah. Sandy, nothing's changed. Yeah. We're still saved by the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And why? Because he hasn't turned anyone away. Right. That's right. John 3, 16, I know all of you quoted, all these kids can quote it. Yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, yeah. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, yeah. but have everlasting life. Right. Folks, listen, he says, I'm not going to turn anyone away. Yeah. All you have to do is come to me. Mm -hmm. Folks, do you know how many times in this world you're going to be turned away? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's right. Whether for a job, mm -hmm. whether for a mate, <laughs> yeah. whether for a, a loan or whatever. That's right. Folks, you are going to be constantly rejected throughout this life. Jesus Christ is the only person that is never going to reject you. That's right. That's right. Yes. Amen. But again, Jacob, that didn't work both ways. <laughs> You know why? John chapter 1, he says, He came into his own, yes. and his own received him not. Yes, they rejected him. But as many as received him. Yes. Folks, again, here's the good part. That's yes. why you ought to read this thing called the Bible. Yes. But as many as received him, to them gave him power to become the sons of God, even those that believe on his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of man, nor of the will of flesh, but of God. Folks, listen. He turns no one away. Right. That's right. He turns no one away. Okay. Romans chapter 10, verse 12, I believe. It says, For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. Yeah. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord yeah. shall be saved. Amen. Amen. He won't take it. He won't accept me. Folks, he says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Amen. But who are you calling on? Who are you worried about impressing? Whose words mean something to you? Right. That's right. Again, uh, all of these people, uh, listen, Trump's written a book, Obama's written a book, Hillary's written a book. Well, listen, you ought to respect their opinion. They've sold a million copies. <laughs> Folks, you know how many copies of God's Word yeah. has been sold? Best 
Mike, I'd put a little more faith yes. in one that sold over billions and yeah. billions of books. Yeah, that's right. Than one that sold a half a million. Yeah. Folks, listen. Whose word means something to you? Whose opinion means something to you? There are people that they have wrecked their lives. Now, amen or ouch, okay? Because they have been more focused, Jessica, on, on pleasing someone here True. than pleasing someone there. Amen. 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 Now, folks, that's yes. not going to work. No. That is not. never, never going to work. Nope. But, and here's what's so sad. Yeah. All you have to do is come to him. That's right. Amen. All you have to do is come to him. He says, he that cometh to me, yeah. I will in no wise cast out. In Amen. other words, there's nothing that you can do yes. that will make me say no. That's right. That's right. Folks, if you've been a parent, there is nothing that my children could come and tell me that would make me disown them. Those of you that are parents know this. Listen, there is nothing that your children can come and tell you that would make you disown them. Now, can they come and tell me stuff that is going to make Doug angry? Yeah. yeah. Can they tell me things, Becky, that is going to disappoint me? Sure. Yes. Yes, that's right. But am I ever going to cast them away? <coughs> no. Folks, no one that has ever come to Christ... I don't care how much baggage you're bringing. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. He is never going to say, I don't have any use for you. All that come to me, I will in no wise cast out. Amen. But all inclusive, all inclusive. Yes, amen. We talked about that song a few, few months ago. Uh, Daddy's come around to Mama's way of thinking. <laughs> Folks, listen, you got to come around to Christ's way Amen. of thinking. That's right. Amen. you got to come around to Christ's way of thinking, okay? And, folks, I don't care whether you've been in church 40 years. I don't care whether you've been in church four days. Yeah. That's right. I don't care if you've never been in church. You are going to have to admit that you need Christ. Amen. Amen. That's right. You are going to have to admit that you need Christ. Folks, everyone will have to admit that, Rick. Yes, that's right. It's just going to be a matter of whether you admit yes. it here right. or you admit it there. That's right. Philippians 2, 9, I believe. He says, For God hath also highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name, yes. that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. Amen. Of things in heaven... And things in earth and things under the earth. Yes. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Folks, listen. Everything in heaven, Sandy, is going to recognize him as Lord. Everything that is on earth when he comes back is going to have to recognize him as Lord. Yes, yes. All those that are in hell right now. Yeah. Sandy, they, they didn't want to recognize him here, True. but there's coming a day that they'll recognize him Amen. as Lord. Amen. Preacher, you can't make me come up there and bow. I don't have to. I don't have to, folks. Preacher, you'll never make me confess. I don't have to. You're going to willingly do it one day. Yes, that's right. Yes. The problem is that there's going to be those that are going to do it, and it's too late. That's though. right. Amen. Folks, it's got to be done here. Yes. It's got to be done. I don't mean pinch ridge. I That's mean right. it's got to be done here while you're living and breathing on this earth. Right, right. Amen. Because when it's done at judgment, too late. Yeah, that's right. Too late. But, folks, you've got to admit that you need him. Yeah, that's right. Now listen, preacher, you old hateful man. <laughs> You've got to accept my lifestyle. You've got to accept my choices. What's the next word we're going to say? <laughs> Garbage! <laughs> These people that you've got to accept my lifestyle, you've got to accept my choice. Garbage! Bless him, Lord. Folks, if God hasn't accepted them, why should I have to accept them? That's right. Them? Amen. Amen. 
Well, now, Doug, you can't say that. That's right. I can't say that. Okay. Bless you more. Hebrews 11, 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Yes. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Yes. What does that say? God says, listen, if you don't have faith, you're not going to please me. Yeah, right. Well, now, wait a minute, Lord. You're supposed to just accept me the way I am. He loves you the way you are, but, folks, he doesn't accept us the way we are. He doesn't accept us the way we are. There has to be a change. That's right. Amen. There has to be a change. Well, listen, uh, Doug, you have to accept me. Folks, I don't have to accept sin. That's right. That's right. I have to love the sinner hard, right. but I don't have That's to right. accept sin. Amen. Okay. Again, because guess what? He doesn't. Yes. He doesn't accept sin. Oh, that's your opinion. <laughs> Bless him, Lord. Matthew chapter 7, mm -hmm. verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto yes. me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. That's right. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. For many in that day will say unto me, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? Then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Right. Listen, you got to accept me, you know. Folks, I don't have to accept your choices. Yeah. I don't have to accept your lifestyle. Yeah. Now, Doug, you're persecuting all them people. Becky, we're an equal opportunity persecutor. <laughs> Bless him, Lord. I don't accept homosexuality. I don't accept murder. I don't accept lying. I don't accept adultery. I don't accept fornicating. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Bless him, Lord. Folks, listen, we live in a time where it's just you go on a trial run and test it out, Shannon. And if, uh, if it works, it works. And if it don't, it don't. Folks, that's not Bible. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Amen. But Harley, they're not only people. There are churches yes. that practice this. Yes. Well, we'll just accept this. No? Why? Because he doesn't accept it. <coughs> he doesn't accept it. That's right. Amen. Folks, listen, I, there's no sin that's any worse than any other. True. That's right. And Mary, we, we don't accept any of them, okay? And if we haven't named one that's come across your plate, then okay, we'll go back to our old standby, James 4, 17. Yeah, that's right. Amen. <laughs> he that knows to do good and doeth it not, yes. to him it is sin. Right. Doug, I ain't raped, I ain't pillaged, I ain't murdered, I ain't stole, I ain't committed adultery. Mm -hmm. Are you sitting at home when you ought to be in church? That's right, that's right. Bless him more. To him that knoweth to do good yep. and doeth it not. Yes. It is sin. Yep. Listen, you got to accept me, no? God's got to accept me, no? Folks, love is given. Respect yes. is earned. That's right. That's right. Now, amen or out. Amen. That's right. Love is given. Respect is earned. Folks, we love all our three kids equally. Okay? Well, who's your favorite? Okay? Today it was Megan. You know why? She was the first one to say Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Sorry, Holden. Slow on the draw, brother. <laughs> but we love them all That's equally. Right. Amen. But they used, they used to joke among themselves, and Peggy used to joke about this too. They said, well, uh, he's your golden child. She's your golden child. Becky, th there's room to maneuver there. <laughs> it's not locked in. 
You know why? Because respect's earned. That's right. That's right. Respect's earned. But guess what? No matter what they do, the love stays the same. Yeah. That's right. Folks, no matter what all of these people are doing right now, guess what? Yeah. God's love stays the same. Right. That's right. It's still willing to reach out, yes. to reach over all of this sin. Yes. But folks, his respect has to be earned. Yeah. Yeah. Love is given, respect is earned. But all inclusive. Okay. So all of us are failures. Yeah. All of us have to come by Christ. Yeah. All of us will not be turned away. All of us have to admit that we need him. Yeah. But folks, here's the last all inclusive. All that reject him will be eternally punished. That's right. Amen. All that reject him will be eternally punished. Doug, I don't have to accept Christ. You're absolutely right. You don't. I can't force you. I'm not going to force you. But folks, I'm going to force you to realize that there's a consequence, Luke, for that choice. There's a consequence for that choice. And that consequence is found in Revelation chapter 20. It said, I saw the small and great stand before God, and the books were open. Yep. And another book was open, which is the book of life. Right. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Well, so-and-so uh, was a, a thief. So-and-so was a murderer. So-and-so was an adulterer. Guess what? It's written down. Yep, that's right. Well, all I did was just sit at home. Guess what? It's written down. Yes. He saw the dead, small and great, and they were judged according to their works. Yeah. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. I ain't been as bad as so-and-so. <laughs> Did you reject him? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, I'm just as good as so-and-so. <laughs> Did you reject him? <laughs> Folks, again, at judgment, no one is going to be able to call character witnesses. You're not going to be able to call mom and dad up there. You're not going to be able to call your friends right. up there. That's right. Either you're in the book. That's right. Amen. Or you're not. Amen. And guess what? There's no exceptions that he's going to say, oh, he's a McClellan, bring him back. <laughs> he's a Belcher, bring him back. He's a Keeling, bring him back. He, he's all right. Whosoever was not found written in the book That's of right. life Amen. was cast in the lake of fire. Amen. Folks, the all-inclusiveness of Jesus Christ. Do you realize that he's all-inclusive? Yes. Yes. He's all inclusive in love. Yes. He's amen. all inclusive in forgiveness. That's right. But guess what? Yes. He's all inclusive in judgment. True. That's right. And folks, you need to realize that. That's right. He that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Yeah. Folks, if you have a need today, we ask you to come. Because guess what? He's not going to cast you out. That's right. He's not going to cast you out. Bill, if you and Jacob could come and get us a song. Folks, if you're lost today, you need to come. If you have something going on in your life that shouldn't be there, you need to come. And guess what? If you come, he says, I'll in no wise cast you out. So as everybody stands,
this thought that you know what I got to clean up before I come to Christ folks that's not the way it works that's right. <laughs> he knows you're dirty he knows right. that you need cleaned up that's why you come so he can clean you up but folks we'll ask you if you would uh, just sit down uh, I believe the kids have a